Right, I'm only after coming over there for milking. Mm -hmm. And Jerry has this drain along the roadside, all cleaned the whole way down, and he has this opened. So I'm gonna run two pipes in here, and I'm gonna put, I should have got a 45 or a 90. I don't know if it'll work or not, but we'll try to make it work now that we have it and bend the pipe around. So I wanna get that in now because we have a lorry load of shale coming. Probably have to widen another wee bit yet because it's in an awkward wee corner of the road. But it'll be great to get that gap back in, allow us much more easy access to that. Now, one thing we're finding plenty of is these, plenty of them. Any amount of horseshoes or pony shoes or whatever they are. So we'll hold on to every one of those. We'll make something with those at the end of the project. Putting a drain in along the hedge here to catch any dampness from going down the field. And then we put another one down here. It can be damp at times down here as well, so just pull another one across there in case we miss anything. A second chance to catch anything that gets past this one above. Right, we're just after running a lot of pipes there and we have shores put in in a few different directions. So we've one going across there to underneath them trees. I'll go over there in a second and I'll show you that. And then we've one coming down here. We're on the whole way to the bog. And that one there, it's not really there's any wet spots here. It's just taking the water from that pipe above. So it's just literally carrying the water um, down to the bog. We run another one across here because it's slightly damp there at times. So. We have plenty of stones, so we pulled another one across there just to catch any dampness going down there. We have a couple of places up on our big hill that we'll fix as well when we're at it. Do you remember the few damp spots that we spotted when we're at our silage, especially up around the gate? If you don't, we'll show you it soon enough. Um, so we'll use all that stone. So Jerry has just stopped here with that pipe. We're going to pull a section across here and from there over to this as well. We're going to fill that with stone also and put a pipe into that. It's ferocious warm. Very close, close would be stuck to you. And the first bit of rain we've had in nearly a month, it's starting to rain. And it's not giving much rain, but there's little spots of rain falling and it's actually nice. It's nice and refreshing. But anyway, he's after sinking this across here as well, over to that drain the far side. We're gonna pipe that over to here. And here is over here at the far side. So our pipe comes to here and just run into that drain there below. There's a nice fall on that. But I've changed my mind. I'm gonna take that pipe back out again. Reason being is, see this spot here? Kind of a cut that's in the ground. Well, that there, a river runs out of that. It's even still damp with all the dry weather we've had. And that pipe there wouldn't be water dam, I don't think it'd carry that. Even if it's filled to the very top and fenced out from it, I don't think it'd carry it. We'll pull this back, make this drain far, far bigger. Just basically dig a deep shock from here out to the end. And we have two things we can do with that. We can stick a big heavy pipe into it. And then we're gathering stones, and trust me, there'll be a lot of stones to be gathered on this, the job I always look forward to. But every stone we gather, 
we throw them into this. We'll build it up to the top with stone, big stones rather than that stuff that we're using is quite a small stone. I think the big stones would work much better here and carry a larger volume of water. Or I might just leave it opened and I might just pull a fence, electric fence on this side of it or barbed wire or something on this side of it and keep cattle away from it altogether. We'll see. It doesn't make one bit of difference as long as it's kept open and take that large volume of water. This here doesn't really be much water in it. But still after a bank coming down like that, it's still nice to have a drain there and a pipe. This is the bit that we filled last year. I know there's other weeds and stuff growing on it. Um, I don't know whether I'll spray it off or not. I mightn't have time now, but the power hour will rip that up. The whole way over to where the tractor is, the power hour will have no problem just ripping that all back up again. Now with Jerry just throwing that top side out as far as he can here, just sprinkling it lightly across the top of it. It should turn out a nice job. It certainly would be a lot, a lot better than the way it was. So it's now eight o'clock on a Monday evening and the back the dump trailer I have Jerry's buckets and he's in front of me here and we're tipping up to this place where the gaps is. Do you remember we said when we were doing a silage even when we were putting out a fertilizer we have a boil up here a real wet spot just that the gaps going into this big hill. We're going to fix that now and we're going to also go down to the other field over there in the corner and we're going to fix a couple of spots in it as well. We've got another roll of pipe there this evening just to do that and anywhere we can put a bit of stone and make a wee improvement to a spot like that that's always soaking wet is definitely worth doing. Holding it down here at my foot. Now we're in the drain here. And Jerry throws the stone on top of it. I can't explain to you how warm it is, how humid it is. It's just unbelievable. It's lovely, great day. Grass is growing because we've got a wee bit of rain, but it's ferocious warm. So at the end of each one of them drains, the wee thing I normally do is I get a concrete pipe, six inch concrete pipe. You could even cut it in half and use the one if you want it. One or do two shores if you get me. Bit of cement around it and it keeps the end clear and much easier to find it when you're cleaning out the drain. That drain there does need to be cleaned out. We're not doing it now because we don't want to tramp through our silage field too much. I actually need to get in here with the sprayer, spray some Dawkins and get some fertilizer on it. I would have had fertilizer on it today or yesterday before the rain came only we're just too busy all right so it's a few days later i'm just after finishing milking there it's half past seven this evening and jerry has finished up and um, back there about four days ago now so we now have just where the jeep is parked we now have a gate back in as i said our pier yeah i'm looking into someone rebuilding that pier i don't think our local man's gonna have time there is stonemasons out there who could do a bit of work i don't mind paying your daily rate whatever it is i can take it down separate the stone i would love to see it rebuilt and possibly maybe one the same on this side as well just to match it and um, so if there is stonemasons in our local area who have some free time coming up in the next six weeks or so we'd love to hear from you we will put in two nice foundations and um, very easily leave it ready for you and if you were available give us a shout and here is our roth iron gate a few people asking me agent you didn't throw away the gate did you no, there's our gate there. I just have to lift it out of here and leave it somewhere out of the way for now. But I will rebuild that gate. There's a lot of good steel in it. These old iron gates are great. They're all done with rivets. Old school, proper old school. And they last a lifetime. Apart from some of the rivets being broken, them, there's nothing rotten about that gate. It's still in good style. So we definitely will reuse that. We'll put them all back into shape. We might replace a couple. Maybe I think there's one missing here. I know I have another old gate that's unrepairable at home. Another old gate. And I'll use the steel from that to repair this one. So over here one thing I have to do is remove all of that wire that's there. The lads will be coming with power harrows and stuff and they'll be fit to use the land level and push that clay out a little bit underneath and around them poles a lot handier than that wire been laying there like that so we'll take that wire out of it but i did put some soil there from up above because that was a low spot and a bit shallow so a bit of soil there we actually put quite a few load there and it built it up nicely and that'll make a great job of that so we've now have our drain running down from that tree above running right down here and coming out we can't really do much more than what we did there because you have to imagine the bog itself we can't really dig down because the bog eventually in the winter time will rise and there will be water in it. 
so we had to keep it more or less as high as we could on the ground so that will still let it away we have some big stones thrown in at the end of it as well so this is our pipe coming up here at the end we didn't put any more stone at the very end of it um, because I'm going to get a solid pipe 90 degree straight down 90 degree again into this here and then that'll take it away because that there does run out at a hell of a pace during the winter time or any time when it's wet so we need to rather than it flowing down into a stoned area I'm just going to pipe it directly into this so just when I'm looking down here now, you can see the kind of finished product. Even with putting topsoil, we put a heap of topsoil here and raise this up another bit and it looks very well. I don't know how it comes across in the camera, but to me it just looks so much better, a million times better than what it was. And a good bit of topsoil on it, so it should grow a nice brer grass. I used to be looking right up at a big hump there and you could never get a tractor on it. You could never do very little with it. You couldn't put any fertilizer on it or nothing. And that hump used to run the whole way down to about here, across there, putting it down there and just leveling the whole bottom of this just made a massive difference the way it looks. There it is. It's looking good. That's all done with the springtime harrow and cedar. So you'll see that in another video. We're now down the bottom of one of our silage fields. This is the one our shed would be built on, just the very top there. And down here, um, the road is just there behind that hedge. This used to be a spot, I'm not sure if you've ever seen it in the videos, but it always got marked up when we were at our silage, and even in the springtime when we were putting out fertilizer. So it used to be here in the corner, there used to be a flax hole there, um, a real deep flax hole, which the shuck and everything used to run into. And my father used to have it, there used to be no drinkers over on this land when he bought it. So this big flax hole was left open. Cows could come in the far side of it and walk down into it and drink out of it. It was a big water hole. It was a dangerous old thing. It was something I never liked. It took up way too much room and it looked unsightly. You can see a bankman over there. Um, along that hedge over where the jeep is parked and um, well that used to be the height of this field we lowered that whole area we drew it over here we filled this area way up because it used to be real real low even below the road so that that manhole would always stay full and it made a serious job to this but when we drained it and we run loads of pipes through it we just missed a little spot which is here and i put up with it for a long time and it only took a few minutes to fix tomorrow i have to come over gather the stones on it and roll that as well it's another little job i have to do tomorrow and then finally if you remember we were again putting out a fertilizer on the real wet spring that we had you remember i had to go way out around where that esb pole is to avoid this area completely we pulled one two three i think it was three or four drains out to about here well actually here's one here where it starts you can see the wee bit of a hollow then we have another one just below it and we have another one up there. This is the one that's catching most of the water. I have a feeling that's coming in from here. So we left that uncovered. Eventually grass will grow up through it anyway. And there's the last wee bit of pipe we've left over. And I'm sure we'll find a wee place for that as well. So anyway guys, I'm going to leave it there for now. It's been a busy few days. A lot of small jobs. But just a lot of them. But when we get this week over with us, today is Thursday. You'll be watching this on Sunday. And by Sunday we'll have all of these jobs wiped off the list because we have a lot of other ones and we want to actually take a bit of a break for a little while um, just to relax because it's been a busy hour beginning of the year. Missing spring was a big thing to us. Not getting enough work done in the springtime just put us under a lot more pressure to get jobs done this time of year and it's the same for most farmers. So we we'll slog on. Thanks very much for watching. Till the next one. Talk to you again. Now all I need to do is get the little pop out, so I'll put a new bolt in there, but will he come out? Not a mission. Massies don't usually be hard to start, unlike uh, 